Today I found the most broken Minecraft blog facts on the whole internet that are so insane they feel illegal to use. So today I'm testing them so you don't get caught. Watch until the end at your own risk. Minecraft's redstone lamps used to look like this. Sometimes I remember that. Sometimes you get lit redstone lamps. Really? They were made darker two weeks after they were added. Lamps turn on instantly, but take time to turn off. Maps uh, don't show redstone lamps. Wait, Lamps what? used to turn off instantly. Why not? They always take half a second to break. Glowstone lets you up in chests, but lamps don't. Redstone well, lamps are flammable. No lamps were mentioned two years before redstone lamps. This was the first image of the new texture. They have the same blast resistance as glass. They conduct nice. redstone, but glowstone doesn't. But you still get lit redstone lamps either. in bedrock conditions. No. Subscribe. Because I just do not believe them. The first being is that you can't see redstone lamps on a map. Like, what? You can see literally every other block. We're going to really test this well and truly by doing an absolute ton of redstone lamps. I'm going to cover up this island and we know for certain that redstone lamps are just god powered. I honestly don't know. But bam, there is a ton. If this doesn't appear on my map, I don't know what will. You've got to be kidding me. What? Maybe if we make a new map, let's create a new one here. No, no. Ha. Okay, wait, I refuse to believe it. Let's go ahead and do set obsidian instead. So we change this all to obsidian, check the map. You've got to be kidding me. Every other block appears on the map of Redstone Lamps. Someone call the Minecraft police to arrest Redstone Lamps because that is illegal. They shouldn't be able to hide from maps. But the next thing here, guys, is apparently you can open up a chest that has a glowstone on top of it, but not a redstone lamp, which doesn't make any sense to me because redstone lamps are literally just glowstone with a little bit of extra redstone. So let's go ahead and check this. Okay, yes, we can open up the chest with glowstone. That's all good. Can we open it with redstone lamps? What? This makes no sense! Excuse me, excuse me, what? What are those candles doing? How is that not getting burned by the lava? How is that fire not getting put out by the water? What is Minecraft logic? That is literally a wet sponge. It should be putting out the fire. This is so illegal. How do candles do this? Okay, we're shooting fire charges through water. Okay, at least that's not lighting the candles. Bruh, bruh, how? How does it light up a candle through water? What? Bruh, what? No way. Okay, so when you use a silk touch axe, it keeps the flame in your campfire, but not on your candle. Why is that? We need to test this out for ourselves, guys. Well, let's see if candles really are as OP as the video makes them out to be, all right? We're gonna put lava above the candle. Yep, yep, not, not. All right, we're gonna light this candle up with the water about it. This really should put out the candle. What is it? Wow! This video is actually fully legit. Wait, wait, let's go ahead and try that dispenser thing. And we'll fill this up with some water, even though it is flowing. Doesn't crush it. Where is the consistency, guys? Bang, bang, bang. There's no way that fire charges that are going through water will light that candle. Okay, maybe we might have found at least one possible clickbait in that video. I don't know, but I'm setting through fire charges through the water and it is not lighting the candle up, so I think we're okay. I think it's okay. It is not okay, I repeat. It is not okay! Okay, wait, okay, so we switch into survival now. I've got a golden axe here with silk touch and I dig up this campfire. Okay, it keeps its file. But apparently, uh, if we go ahead and light a candle real quick here and then use silk touch, bang. Where is the flame? Where is the flame? No, this is dumb. If anything, it should go back to its wax. The next thing I want to know is if we go ahead and put fire protection. Can we even put fire protection on a candle? Yes, we can. This thing is literally protected from fire and yet I can light it up. Since when did candles become the most overpowered item in the game? Minecraft's netherrack was called bloodstone when it was added. Launch once really? called netherrack netherstone. What? Before 1.16, endermen could pick up netherrack, but can't anymore. The education Wait, edition says that netherrack is made of silicon, else. oxygen, and mercury. The old netherrack texture has a similar pattern to cobblestone. Yo, in bedrock what? edition, netherrack spawns under floating portals, but not nice. in Java edition. Netherrack can actually be broken quickest using a golden pickaxe, which is Wait. even faster than netherrack. What? Netherrack faster makes a base drop sound when placed under a notebook. What? Netherrack can now appear in the overworld as part of ruined portals. Subscribe! As far as I'm concerned, endermen can pick up netherrack. Rack. And I'm going to prove it by creating a super flat world that literally only has a nether rack and no other blocks. At least in my head, that makes sense. Because otherwise it's just illegal. Okay, this is, this is a lot of random slimes. That's a bit odd. But <laughs> that doesn't matter because Enderman can't pick up slimes. Let's go ahead and place down our Enderman here, guys. All right, we just need one of these guys to pick up a nether rack block and we can call it a day. All right, there we go. One of you. Have any of you picked up any blocks? No? Come on, one of you. Just, just one of you. Any of you? They're not picking up any blocks. We'll just wait a bit and then eventually it'll happen, right? Uh, well, yep, I think the video might have actually been right. It's now been a full Minecraft day. Not a single one of these picked up a block. If I just place one block of andesite, will one of these guys pick it up? All right, let's see. Well, is any of you taking the bait? Only $2.99. Just kidding, guys. It's free. I just need to see whether you'll pick this one up. Any of you? 
I looked away for like a full minute and well, the andesite is, is gone. I, I don't know which one of these Enderman took it, but it is definitely gone. But the other thing that was really confusing is that a gold pickaxe is apparently worse at digging up netherrack than actual netherite. We're like, we're talking legit netherite. So I'm gonna go ahead, switch to survival, let's dig up this, bang. All right, that was almost instant. Now let's, I, oh great, three, two, one. That took longer, but you guys can see here side by side, the gold pickaxe is literally like I've been creative. I can't even see the digging animation. And the netherite pickaxe, there is that split second of waiting. Pickaxe is made out of literal butter. I'm better than this netherite. That isn't illegal. I don't know what is. A TNT bug. Now that sounds pretty cool. What do we got? A redstone block and then a dispenser facing upwards. We're standing on it and then, wait a minute. Did he just throw lit explosive TNT? That is dope. You can throw TNT down at your enemies. You don't even need a dispenser. Okay, that is a dope bug. I need to try this. I'm building a giant ass tower to throw off my TNT. Block a redstone dispenser facing upwards. We stand on there. Grab ourselves that TNT switch to survival and boom. Are you kidding? Guys, I was so excited for that too. We are exposing these clickbaiters. This clickbaiter almost beat me because I thought it used commands, but I couldn't figure them out. So then I went to the internet and I found a guy called Cacverse who made a data pack that would help us, but then we combine it with some commands. And by joining the two, we can destroy this clickbaiter. Basically, we have a data pack here, guys. If we go ahead and do slash data pack, enable, and then it'll be file slash throwable TNT. Hit enter, we've enabled that. We need to use the slash function like so, and then this a fancy ass command is Bertie Crafter colon MCB slash runner, which links in with the data pack we just used. Hit enter. It's gonna spawn one of these weird looking things. We've got this menu here, and all we need to do is click this button, apparently. Okay, did that work? Minecraft, but uh, next scenario. And now it says Minecraft, but you throw items. So basically, by combining those commands with the data pack, if we go ahead and just throw an item, it does nothing, but you can see it throws it super far. Look at how far I can throw the items. They're not exploding, obviously. What we need to do is crouch. These commands will test for it, and boom, check it out, guys. I can now throw exploding TNT. Wow! I just blew up the commands that made it work. But I'm not gonna lie, this was hard. So make sure to subscribe to keep helping me expose clickbaiters. All right, what new block fact is gonna break the game? A minecart and a llama? How is this a block fact? Um, okay, he's pushed the llama into a hole there. A command block, repeating always active. It's an execute, teleporting the llama. Okay, now the llama has like got his head stuck in the ground. It's, honestly, this is just illegal because this is llama abuse. <laughs> okay, now we're using a piston to shove a block inside of the llama. That's interesting. I can't believe that isn't killing the llama. Okay, now we're riding the llama and taming it. And then we're putting carpet... Yo, what? That's like a custom wool block. But uh, let's see if this actually does in fact work. All right, so we'll grab ourselves some rails here. We need to dig down one block, two blocks, and then a slab on the bottom there. And then we need a minecart, drop down our llama, push him in. Yes, this village house is getting a bit of an upgrade right uh, today, you guys. All right, let's can we get, get in the hole. Head is bent backwards like... Ugh! We're gonna fix that by using this command block, which is what was used in the video here. This one will get all llamas in the world. We just want the llama that's nearby. So we're gonna add a comma, R equals, and then this is a radius around this block. So we'll add a radius of four. So only this llama will get affected and not all the llamas in the world. All right, bang. And I mean, it kind of worked. That, that is problematic. Okay, we need to change the direction of the head so it's hidden into that block. If we need to change the direction of the head, that means we have to change this negative 10. Instead of being on the first tilde, we need to move it to the third tilde. I think that should do the trick. Let's try that. Okay, now it's looking that way. Okay, we may almost got it. Instead of having a negative, we'll just do a positive 10. Aha! I've got it! Perfect. So you are going to need like a wall or a block nearby for this custom carpet to work. Once that's done, we can dig up that, put our piston there, activate that. That'll push the wood into our llama here. We can build in the rest of the ground. And now what we need to do is jump on this llama's back, wait for the hearts to appear. All right, perfect. And then we can chuck on the purple carpet and boom, we have ourselves some Enderman style carpet slash wall. That is awesome. But I want creeper carpet. Oh yeah, now that is what I'm talking about. Look, the next villager who walks in here is gonna get the shock of his life. I'm so adding that to my Minecraft world. Wacky fast. In the new update, oh. redstone works with nature. As you can see, the brick leaf fell. But now when I power it on with redstone, it does not fall. It Wait, stays in the exact really? same spot. How in the 
the world does redstone stop a literal plant from falling? Normally, if you stand on a drip leaf, it's going to sink down. You can use this to make secret bases and stuff like that. When it lifts up, it's going to push me into a crawling animation and you can get into one by one secret bases. But this could be a way to actually, you know, turn off the entrance to your secret base to stop other people from getting in. So let's try this out. We'll go ahead and activate this with redstone. It's not falling down. Yo, that is really cool. It's kind of illegal, but we'll go with it. Ooh, a crying obsidian fact? Wait a minute, what? Ha, he just used a water bottle and sucked up the crying part of the obsidian to get a, is that a dragon breath potion? Yo, what? You can get dragon breath potion without going to the end? Now that is a life hack. So let's go ahead and locate a ruined portal. Bang, all right, TP at P. All right, there we go, teleported here. And boom, we got ourselves this crying obsidian portal. There it is. And now what we need to do apparently is get this water bottle and click on the crying obsidian. That didn't do anything. Maybe I have to be in survival? I'm... Uh, th that's not doing... I'm literally... I just drunk the water. So let's go ahead and just use a crying obsidian block separate from the room portal. Maybe this will work. I know it technically worked from the portal, but maybe maybe that portal's just glitched, all right? Survival mode, bang. And there I am, drinking the water again. Okay, why did I even think you could get dragon breath from crying obsidian? You can only get dragon breath from the end. Let's expose this clickbaiter. And here are the weapons of the clickbait crime. A few command blocks, which basically placed the dragon breath in my inventory when I got near a specific block. Basically, all they did is they set it up so they knew this was gonna be the block, and then they dug down one, two, three, four, five blocks, replacing the repeating, always active command block here, which has an execute, and it's testing for me in a distance of five blocks. And when I'm in that distance, it's going to be attached to this redstone comparator. As you can see, that's active, which goes into this uh, repeater here, which is on full ticks. And then going into here like so, we've got ourselves a regular command block here, which is setting block obsidian on those coordinates. I'm sure you can guess where those coordinates are. Yep, literally right there, 22846660082. And then once I've done that, it's going to be attached to this chain command block here, guys, which is an item replace entity. And it's basically replacing my water bottle here with a dragon breath potion we cover that up and now let's go ahead we walk away and then when we go ahead and get near our crying obsidian boom as you guys can see it's going to give us dragons a breath that's exactly what they did to make this all look legit they didn't actually click on the bottom they just literally made it when you walk near the crying obsidian it gives you dragon breath very stupid very dumb but that's how they click baited us and now we have gotten our revenge and if you want to keep getting revenge make sure to subscribe and if you want to see more minecraft hacks you're gonna have to watch the next video because that's all the time we've got for today. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, here I stream out. Bye!